Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we're gonna to talk about a lure color, the lure selection aspect of fishing, and I'll really show you an example on why lure selection isn't nearly as important as most people think. We get questions in all the time about you know what lure should I be using, what color should I use, and in one you know one case versus another. Because in reality, you know, just putting yourself in the right spot at the right time is really the number one thing to consider. And in this example, I'm gonna show you, I was fishing with my dad and we caught a ton of fish, but as you'll see in the video and the footage, they were caught on a lot of different lures. I have the lures here, you know, some was a white topwater, and another case they were hitting a, a dark topwater, right? And this is actually a bullfrog, this is a bass lure that's uh, actually surprisingly good at catching saltwater fish. Uh, as far as subsurface lures, had some really large jerk baits as well as a little small jig. You know, one is black and gold, one is, you know, one is a whole different color, and then even as far as light versus dark, I caught a lot of fish on this light Z-Man as I did on this darker DOA. So again, just the disparity in, on lure, you know, sizes and colors uh, just, just illustrates the fact that the lure selection isn't nearly as important as most people think. This day in particular, we started out, we were just testing out some new areas. We wanted to find some new uh, fishing spots. So I, I put together a plan. We had, you know, I had the first spot that we went to was complete bust. Uh, it was, there was no activity. You know, we fished it for probably 20, maybe 20 minutes or so and, and just decided just to pick up and leave. So instead of, you know, switching off, I believe I was using this lure to start with. So instead of, you know, trying to, to stay in that one spot and, and switching from one lure to another, to another, which just takes a lot of time. We just simply just assessed that the area wasn't as good as, as what we were looking to find. So we completely left and then uh, and just went to, to plan B, right? Our, our second spot that we had chosen. And that's where the, the magic happened. That's where the fish were holding and we caught fish on a large variety of lures. Here's the footage. <laughs> that's a solid fish. I got one too. Oh, I just missed him. Oh, got him, got him. Oh, I missed another one. This is crazy. There are a bunch of fish down here, Dev. That's another red. It's a little bit bigger than those other ones. Oh, got him. Got him. Cool looking red. Right, get out of here, bud. <laughs> you just had another one? Nice. On again. Let's see if we can't get another double real quick. Oh, got him. Oh, oh, got him again. There are a bunch of reds down there. I <laughs> lost them again. Almost had another double. I'm switching the other rod. I just switched over to a light color just to prove that color doesn't matter. I have a longer rod. Hopefully, get this uh, hook sets in a lot better. Take long. This is crazy how many reds are out here right now. First cast with the white Z man. Alright, come up here, bud. Nice looking fish. Yeah, I just switched over. Cause that other rod was uh, it's a shorter rod and or it has less power, and I just couldn't get the hook sets going. Oh, got one. Right. Cool looking red. 
Copper. Ooh, I do have some top water. Keeps missing it. Ooh, that was a big boil. Eat it. Oh, that was a big fish. Try the old bullfrog. Oh, got first cast. <laughs> That's funny. They're not missing the bullfrog. Frog is gone. You got what you got on red too? Nice. Little guy, frog, redfish. That ears a little bit bigger. Red or snook? Yep, nice rib. Yeah, I was like, he was right here, Dad. I just did a little toss right here in this cove and caught one. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you they're just kind of cruising back and forth. <laughs> Double. <laughs> uh, I think you beat me again on size. Got a green, green color lure there. Cool looking red there, a real dark one. Come here, bud. Barely hooked. What, he's got another line in him. Let's see if we can't get it out. That's real deep. At least get him. Could get them a little bit less line to mess with. All right, Bob. There we are. Good as new. Proof that they don't die when they saw the hook. And on our way back, we uh, we hit up a few points and uh, and caught these few snook before heading back and getting some lunch. So if you find yourself wondering, you know, what color lure to use, uh, or what size, or what type. You know, really, I would say just focus on one. Get one that you like and one that you know and one that you trust and just focus on, you know, put the focus on finding better areas and putting together a plan, a strategic plan that will enable you to, to find the trends. Because really, every day is a puzzle and it's all about just putting the pieces of that puzzle together as fast as possible. And if you're focusing just on lures without focusing more on, on your plan, on where you're going and why you're going there, then, then you're just not gonna have consistent results. And if you need help with that, we have an insider fishing club where we teach everything you need to know. We teach you know, how to read online maps, most importantly, how to assess an area, right? How to assess an area is, is a feeding zone or a dead zone. That is really what turned that day, that, all that footage that you saw, that's what turned a day that would have been a complete bust had we stayed in that first zone, had we not assessed 
that it was that it was bad quickly we would have spent way too much time there instead of going to this other spot which was surprisingly good we caught all this fish in like a probably like a hundred yard span it was uh it was really really fun and and even better is that that was the first time we've uh, we fished that so anyhow if you, if you do want some help on a, on just creating a plan and, and putting together a strategic plan on, on based on the t the weather based on the season and on the ties just how to put it all together because unfortunately it's not just hey you do one thing and that's going to magically solve your problems there's just a lot of little small things when put together make a huge impact and that's really what this insider fishing club is focused on so if you want to learn more about that insider fishing club you know, scroll down below and i'll put a link to it and you can learn more about it but uh, anyways yeah, thank you so much for your time and watching this video if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below otherwise yeah thank you once again for watching i hope you can get out on the water soon and catch some big ones